Hello, welcome back. I'm Chan the Tech Man. Thank you for tuning in. This is my Let's Play of Siberia. And uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game so far. It's really good. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, a lot like Mist. Um, but it has people in it that you can talk to, but the looks is really nice. So let's get into it. Uh, yeah, that's where I left off. And let's see which way I want to go. Let's go this way. seems to be the main factory I think so let's nothing here so hope I can get in and I can Can't do anything with that, so let's come over here. That's it. Interesting, there's a door. Can I get in there? And I can. I can't do anything with that. here some pulleys can't see all of us so let's just do doesn't look like that works oh there's a didn't see that I guess that doesn't do anything because it's never was highlighted anything on that so I got the wheel turning don't know why but something's a moving now that's not moving but there's no nothing I can do on that so let's go over here it looks like a creature another time and time uh, let's go over here and I guess we can go over here uh oh yes hello hey what happened to you my poor munchkin I've been trying to contact you for hours I'm in Europe ma job thing what Europe my god oh I've got such happy memories of Europe some of them even involve your father but uh, that's enough of that tell me where are you Paris London Venice Valadilen yeah I know it's a bit out in the boonies what in the world are you doing out there you know business I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand it. 
You really do take after your father sometimes. Mother. Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday. Ma, I haven't got a lot of time, you know. Frank! Ma, please, I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, maybe you don't remember him. He was quite a star in his day. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. I'll call you back. He is as charming as he always was. We spent the... Mom, I really have to go. I'll call you back, I promise. Lots of love. Kate! <laughs> oh, that, that, I love this. Oh, I guess that's what we... Well, let's forward this. It's grabbing a barrel of some kind. It's what's supposed to grab a barrel of some kind. <sighs> See how the hands are? Pretty neat. So we'll go over here. There's a door. Let's see what's there. Uh, Tomaton uh, hanging up there, uh, I assume. Guess he can pull with that. Thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. <laughs> you see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Hmm. Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Me too, uh, model XZ2000. Please, all my friends call me Oscar. This fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. Guess that's for the steps go. When you are complete and totally functional, can you help me gather information about Hans Vorlberg? I'm afraid I can't, Kate Walker. Duty calls. Once I've recovered my feet, I have to see to my post on the train. It's waiting for its engineer. You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Are you taking any passengers? 
My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you, though, Kate Walker, that a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. Hmm. Do you know Momo? No, Kate Walker. You are a very strange robot. Automaton, if you please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. She loves Automatons doing that. have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh, I think so. Hmm. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds, to be precise. This regrettable absence explains the delay in my production process. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? Broken. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. I'd rather count it on finishing my production. Can I be of use to you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are model XZ2003. My feet are model XZ2005 underscore B. Be careful. The model XZ2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card, on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. Okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. I will probably have to memorize that the model numbers, maybe. Oscar, what do I have to do with this card? I am counting on you, Kate Walker. Oscar, I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker. Huh. Well, let's go up to uh, her office. It's awful loud. Maybe should have not turned it on until later. Um, soon this is it. Humming in there, and uh, uh, not do anything. Oh, that's why it's playing music. Um. I got something for that. Father notices you've stolen one of his lanterns. Oh, I'm all covered in mud because of you. Look, Anna. Look. I've seen paintings like this in a library book. They're like you swore, Anna. It's a secret between you and me. Hey, look. 
There's something else up there. Oh, come on. It's like a toy. I have to have it. Give me some light. But Hans, it's much too high. Do be careful, Hans. Like that. There's nothing else. And how many noise? It's getting to me. I always should have turned it. Uh, definitely should have turned it on later, but that's a sleek looking uh, train. That's probably what he's talking about. That's pretty neat. Dear, okay, about to land March 6, 2002. Dear Hans, I'm going to have to move this over somewhere so I can read it. And I can move it. Well try it's still covering part of it I I know how much you dislike the written word but d I don't have the time to forge you a voice cylinder I imagine that someone in your entourage will be kind enough to read these few lines to you I received your latest set of plans your project is extraordinary your all-time masterpiece perhaps Time seems to have had no effect on your genius. Quite the contrary. I am proud of you, my dear little brother. Sometimes I find it hard to believe that a century has gone since the last time I saw you. It only seems like yesterday that you rushed away from Valdelin. We undertook production immediately following your, your instructions to the letter. The locomotive was ready within a week, if only you could see it, but you will see it. That much I have promised you. It is magnificent. It seems impatient to set out on its maiden voyage. There's only Oscar left to build, which I found. I hope I will finish him soon, but as you can imagine, his mechanism is, is complex and takes a great deal of time and handiwork correct me if I'm wrong but I understand you wish me to bring you that cursed prehistoric doll the very I'm going to move that you can't see it but it's a recorder the very thought of which I wonder if it, it is still in the cave and if it's is what state it is in but what does 60 years matter after all an object already several thousand years old I am going to find it Hans I promise you I've a bit of a nasty flu at the moment which is running me down a little I should be better in a few days though the sale of the factory is taking shape the lawyer from New York should be visiting and we will be able to sign the contract then I shall and I assume she was going to write I shall come to you maybe with that locomotive and she, and she had died of the flu or complications from it so that means the lawyer firm didn't kill her I was kind of wondering about that it's kind of fishy um, she couldn't even finish this. Maybe she died trying to write this. 
So, is anything else? I'm not going to read all of these. Um, warning. Um, unpaid invoice. Quite a bit. Uh, they, she owes something in that one. Quite a bit. Uh, you can read this, but they said they're going to take certain procedures against the company. So that's why she's kind of forced to sell, I guess. Become a financial liability. The debts. And then wanting her to sell. So, oh uh. Invoices, invoices, more invoices. I never knew the factory was in such a bad way financially. These last two years must have been very hard for Anna Vorlberg. Yeah, I imagine so. Can you pull these drawers out? Actually, they, she died writing that letter. Um, I don't think there's anything else here I can do. Assume this is the control center for that out there because you, you're looking out there. I got power and I have his card, so can I put it here? Yes. Doesn't look like that works. How was it? I think it wasn't like that. I don't know how it was. We don't have that thing what's needed over there for that other robot, so I don't think there's anything I can do right now. She doesn't want to run. Well, let's go out here. I don't think there's anything else I can do at this moment. And that's going. This is beautiful, though. Let's go here. Here's the cylinder. The way that is there, I think that's something that that robot can grab a hold of. And what's over here is another cylinder. And there's that. Aha! Put another one. I doubt she could lift that though. Or can I? I don't need to do that again. Oh, don't need to do it again.
She's pretty fit. Uh, go to this one. That's pretty, that water watching it. And it looks like an old train station. Like from New York. And Valde de Lin. And I assume that the factory's open, which they probably get their parts in through this train station. And I assume the factory's open 24 hours, so this was would be open to people could get to it 24 hours. But it's owned by this all station is owned by the Volbergs, so that's why it's behind the gate and it's closed. It's the, they don't have anybody. Uh -oh, what's that? Nothing. It looks like it's a train, but I can't can't get a look of it. She takes her time. That's a real person. Got a lot of signs. It's over here. And nothing. Let's go in here. That's a pretty train. That's the one we've seen in the design. The front part, anyway. Need a key, probably. Oh, no, I don't. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. That's pretty neat. Uh, nothing I can do. Uh, this is the carriage car, I assume. Yes. Can I just walk to the other side? I can see good, uh, better view, but this is the train, I think. I presume. And I think it'll be enough for this video. Uh, well, next video, we'll, episode will start from here. 
Thank you for tuning in. I'm Chan the Tech Man. My website is chansmith.me. It's in the description of this video. Thank you very much. Uh, go there if you want to donate. The link is on my website to donate. It would be greatly appreciated, especially during these rough times. And, uh, and uh, that's why I want to make a, several videos this week. It's been kind of a rough week for a lot of people, so I uh, wanted to make this uh, video so you can watch it, have something to watch and relax. And uh, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Get in the comments section. Be nice and thank you. Until next time.